next up snapline snapline it's very handy if you want to move something along along a, a direction until it meets a certain coordinate for example uh, let's say I want to move this head and activate snapline middle mouse button to define the line and left mouse button to, defl to define the um, uh, the point I want to snap. So if I hit, so I, if I act activate here snap line, it will actually move there, a bit like snap drag too. But what it does is I can have percentage, I have distance. So this is zero distance from that point. So if I increase the percentage, you notice the distance. It's going to change too, so I can change distance or percentage, and I have the two points uh, to change. So if I could say zero on the second point, it will fit there. Uh, but I can also, for example, imagine that I want to move this guy along this axis until it meets, for example, five on the y-axis so now I move it along that direction but it's really that point it's really on 5 so if I come here let's see the y of that point is really 5 it's very precise it's quite cool uh, control over it uh, next next up we sell weapon sell weapon allows you to, for example, if I select one, two, three, it's a point order two, two, three, mm -hmm. that was good, uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, and I can weld these three points to this tree, so I hit OK, these three points going to be welded to this tree not just like weld would work in lightwave in which you select a bunch of points in the last one uh, it's going to be where all the points are going to be weld no this you can select pairs of points to be welded uh, you can also with it you can just snap not weld so they are not connected or you can create a patch so these polygons are there and this is all connected okay next up uh, turn vector turn vector is really great tool for example if you have two oblique objects and you want for example to rotate this base of the head to the, to here you can do it in lightwave for example if I select this and I select this select all this come to modify rotate rotate to object it will rotate to that plane problem is uh, it's not aligned like I would like to want it to be uh, so turn vector makes a great job in this because I can oops this first I have to select points so basically I'm going to define the vector one two three okay and I want two three and I want this head to, to move there so select them one, two, three. so basically this is going to meet this uh, and notice here I selected clockwise and here I had to select it counterclockwise okay so this point will meet that one this point will meet that one and this point will meet that one so when I run this, basically it ask me for a guide and say this is my guide. It asks me if I want to move the points and where. I say 
foreground points, same points I'm using as a guide. Say OK. <coughs> and now I not only rotate it and align to the plane, but it's it's with the direction I want. So it's quite cool. Um, another tool that it's able to do this uh, it's gap roll. Gap roll measures um, angles between sets of two points. So for example if I say remove this here okay and my gap is defined by baseline and transform line. So baseline, transform line. I have four points selected and I go to gap rule and it says that the angle between these two lines is 68. I say I want it to be zero and by being zero he will move all the connected points. If I don't put connect it will just move that point. But I want it to move all the connected points to a zero angle between those gaps. Okay, so zero. Okay. First it will move there. Now I can apply it again. Gap roll zero. And again rotate it to the plane and I aligned it like I wanted in the plane. Uh, you can't use gap roll when the angle is zero. So for example if I come here my baseline and my transform line if I hit gap roll it's gonna say gap angle equals to zero so you can't use it. Uh, but you can use it's another tool called V-roll. Um, V-roll it's very good to allows you to, for example, uh, I pick these two points, activate V-roll, I say my axis is defined by two points, and I say I want to rotate it on the axis. Oops, something went wrong. V-roll. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, you have to select not just the axis, but all the points you want to rotate. So, uh, select two points, that's my axis. Now, I have to select the points I want to rotate. Uh, so, my, my first two points are going to be my axis, and I say I want to rotate it over the axis, and boom. Um, just easily and and I'm doing all this in an oblique way so um, so for example if I wanted to move a little this guy from from that table I would select these two points select connected to select the points I want to rotate go view roll and just say I want to rotate on the axis. There we go. Okay. Uh, v roll is also good because you can s you can define a three point axis. So, for example, say I want to rotate um, on this three points normal. So. Select connected V roll, say three points is my axis, and I want to rotate it over the axis and I want to roll all points because my axis is on the object. If I just try to rotate it, these three points are not going to be rotated. So roll all points, and now notice that this is the three points I used. It's gonna rotate over that axis based on uh, using the first point has origin.